what is up guys, it's you here, bring you another review on Fairy Tale. This episode went from progressively funny to progressively serious. Like, it, it went from serious, I mean, from funny to slightly serious to we almost lost a person. I mean, it was that kind of episode. Uh, and it kind of went in a fast pace right after the funny. Uh, but we start off with... Ja Gajil, I said I was gonna say Jagil, guys. Come on, Gajil and the rest having a little trip into the hot springs uh, with the surprise of Ichia being there, and that the Blue Pegasus actually owns this hot springs, and the truth is revealed that the Thunder Legion is actually in Blue Pegasus now. Gajil is upset with Ichia because of how he revealed to everyone that everyone is there and he wanted to surprise everyone and they he even spills out that loxus hasn't been around in the guild despite being a member and them thinking that he's one of the i guess fuck boys of blue pegasus but is actually training and again gajo getting mad having a little uh, funny moment there with levy uh, it was funny how juvie in the beginning was kind of like saying you know she's shy but then we have Levy saying, oh, it's gray, and how that, it, it works against her, and they, they said it was divine punishment, but I think it was pretty funny. Uh, but then we cut to where gray and the others are, after seeing Brandish, just overwhelming power. Uh, she seems to be very, very bratty. She has a personality of a little kid. She actually wanted some of the gelato herself, but it was destroyed. And she tells Marin to give back uh, the girls and that they were on their way. That they, she did not care uh, what they were what they were supposed to be doing. She was like, eh, whatever. Uh, but Natsu does not let them leave. She is, like, basically glaring at Natsu afterwards saying, you know, you, you took one of our own. And she takes out Marin. Of course, we all know what her ability is if you read the manga. And it's later talked about in the episode where we see how she makes everything smaller. She shrunk the whole island and everyone had to get on boats. And then we go to Mest who is actually takes him to an underground place where they meet an old familiar face. That's right guys. It's not Jalal. It is Angel who is working with Jalal and, and the Orosian or Oracion Seis, if you guys want to say it in Spanish. Um, and she is the spy with the intel, revealing the Makarov's location. And Makarov is well and alive. He is waiting around in the in the Empire, and just wanting to meet the Emperor Springen. And uh, he is just playing a game of. Uh, I guess of cards. I, I wasn't really sure. And interestingly enough, we get to see a little bit more of these members. And the person who is the Emperor Springin, and this should be no shock to anyone, is none other than Zeref. Zeref is the person behind all of it. He is the one in charge. And he just kind of walks in, like when he's waltzing in. To his kingdom everyone sees him as a savior everyone sees him as a nice person and makarov loses it like he literally loses his crap there he is kind of having a surprise phase like we see how in shock he is with what is happening at the moment that he's the emperor and he meets with them and he's like uh, may i talk to you basically <laughs> and we have their conversation where he asks him you know are you Zeref or are you Emperor Springen and he actually tells him I respond to both but if I had to choose he'd say he'd be Zeref uh, and he explains his plan and this is where uh, uh, from here on out the episodes are going to be intense it's going to be a heck of a battle from here on out but we're going to be having an extermination so it's gonna be a war but it's gonna be an extermination according to Zerov and there there is no negotiations his goal is to obtain the fairy heart which of course is the first guild master so his goal 
has been stated and it says that it's going to be the war against the humans the dragon the king of dragons and it's the the dark mage speaking of him the of course people and acnologia so things are definitely sp uh, getting spicy and when we thought the episode was going to end up with that we have him going and crushing uh, my poor makarov to the point to where he was about to die and out of nowhere we have messed teleporting right to where they were and saves makarov from death and takes him back to everyone else so very interesting how like i said in the beginning how this episode went from funny to serious to a demonstration i mean we even saw how brandish said that there were 12 others that were like her so she was basically telling i know what you're up to but i don't care don't mess with our kingdom you're not gonna win so i thought that was kind of funny but then at the same time how she that that from here on out shit it's gonna be bad so it, it was it was a warning uh, and of course it's fairy tale they don't heed and we have makarov trying to keep things at peace between him and Zeref. but Zeref has stated his goal so now it is time to act so from here on out guys expect some good action some some interesting and shocking stories from here on out so i'm looking forward to it but let me know what you guys think uh, on the episode did you guys enjoy it i personally thought it was an interesting transition of things but as always guys stay safe and I will catch you later. I'm a buff baby, but I dance like a man. Like a man. She a nice lady and she shaking the yams. Uh, spent the whole summer trapping out the sedan. sedan. Marching with the bands, cause I think that I care. I